All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so we're here in the Mustang Mach-E again, and uh, today we're gonna do a winter edition of some of the range tests we did in the summertime. So if you haven't seen those tests, I'll link them below. But the first test matched the Out of Spec Channel 10% uh, Challenge. Check out their channel if you haven't already. Awesome stuff over there. Uh, but I wanted to see how my Mach-E did in, you know, with the same parameters. So that, that challenge is all about road tripping and trying to minimize your time at chargers. So you plug in at a low state of charge, 10%. Uh, you charge for 15 minutes at a DC fast charger, and then you get on the interstate at, and uh, maintain 80 miles an hour and see how far you can go. Then we did that test again, uh, but at 70 miles per hour. And now this time, this is the winter edition. So it's in the 30s out here. It's snowing right now, but the roads are wet because it's just above freezing. We're gonna change a few things about the test because you know, in the winter time, you definitely don't wanna get stuck somewhere and be out of charge. So uh, we're gonna plug in at 20% instead of 10%, give ourselves some extra buffer. And then uh, we're probably not gonna be going 80 miles an hour. We'll probably be going 65, maybe 70, depending on the road conditions. Uh, we're obviously gonna have the windshield wipers going here because um, it is actively snowing. Headlights will be on. Uh, we'll also be running the heat, of course. Both front heated seats will be on, heated wheel will be on. Um, and so this should, you know, more accurately represent what this would be like in the winter time. Yeah, then we'll see where we end up at the end. I'm expecting lower, but I don't know how much lower. So uh, let's find out together. All right, so we just backed the car out. We got the car turned on. We're at 28%. Uh, the car hasn't had a chance to warm up or precondition the battery. All right, so we got the climate turned on. We've got the charger in there. We got about 10 miles to the charger. We're at 27% battery now. As soon as I punched the charger in um, as a destination, I heard the coolant start running and heating up the battery to precondition it for the fast charge. So that all makes sense. So it's about 35 degrees right now indicated. Um, you can see it's snowing out here and the roads are wet. All right, so we're here at the charger. We arrived at 21%. Um, so when we started, we were at 28%. So we went about 10 miles, 20 minutes. We were preconditioning the battery on the way here. We are at 20% now. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in. We'll end the nav and see what kind of charging speed we get. Okay, so we plugged in. Um, we got actually better speeds than I thought we were going to right off the bat. So that preconditioning uh, definitely made a difference. Um, we are at about 85 kilowatts right now. The highest I saw I think was 97, although it took the screen a second to load. So staying in the 80s here when the weather's cold, that's not terrible for this car. All right, so we've been plugged in for about eight minutes now. Um, we've delivered 11 kilowatts. We're at 36%, we plugged in with 20%, and the charger is saying we're at about 84 to 86 kilowatts, so it keeps going up and down. So that's that's good for this car. Obviously, it's not the fastest in the industry, uh, but for the Mach-E on the standard range pack, those are good speeds. You know, that's pretty much what I saw in the summertime, uh, just a, a few ticks lower. Okay, so we're 10 minutes into the test. We're at 40% state of charge. We've delivered about 14 kilowatts. So uh, this is looking pretty good as far as comparing to the summer numbers. You know, in the summertime, I'll put the exact amount on the screen, but I think we were in the 21, 22 kilowatt hours delivered. So we're probably not gonna get quite there, but I think we're gonna get pretty close. Okay, this is probably gonna be the last update before I go on plug. We're at about 12 minutes, 45% state of charge, 18.2 kilowatt hours delivered, and we're doing about 78 kilowatts. Trip one, we're gonna reset that. We're at 49%, 
uh, we delivered about 20 kilowatts to the car so uh, we'll keep the climate going here heated seats at level two let's get on the road see how far we can go all right getting back on the interstate here took a few minutes had some traffic and traffic lights so we've gone 1.2 miles 1.9 miles per kilowatt hour Okay, so we're at 47% now. We're gonna try and go about 65 to 70. 70 if we can, just to compare to the prior results. Um, yeah, we'll give you an update in a little bit here. So we're about to turn around here. We're at 35%. Um, we've gone 21.8 miles, 25 minutes averaging 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour. It's about 35 degrees. It's been fluctuating up to 37 and then kind of changing between rain and snow and a lot of water on the road. Okay, we're at 30% now. And remember, we're going to 20% this time, not 10% since we started at 20% with the winter buffer. Um, we've been able to maintain close to 70 there's been some traffic and some road conditions. So uh, the first part of the test, we were, we were doing 70 crews the whole time. And then the last 10 miles or so, it's been kind of up and down. So um, yeah, we've gone almost 30 miles now, 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour average. So 10% left. All right, so we're about to go past the charger. We did a, a loop style test, so it would hopefully negate the wind and elevation as much as possible. Okay, there it is, 20%, 43.8 miles, 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour, and about 45 minutes. You can see the road conditions here. And we ended the test. 34 degrees. Okay, there's 19%. Um, 45.4 miles. 4 miles. Okay, so let's talk final numbers. So let me put them up here on the screen. And if you haven't seen the prior videos, um, I'll link those and go check those out because uh, I am going to be putting up the numbers here. So if you don't want to see those numbers yet, go watch those. Uh, but yeah, we went about 43.8 miles, um, and we started with almost the same energy delivered as the prior tests. Um, you know, just a half a kilowatt hour or so less, not even. And so I would say the charging went better than I was anticipating. We preconditioned the battery, uh, the charging worked great, um, and we held pretty good charging speeds for this car that whole time. So we didn't really start out the test significantly behind, which I thought we might. Um, and then I think we had a little more rain and snow and there was a lot more water on the road. So we had a little more resistance on the road than we would have during, you know, a dry test. So I still think there's multiple more variations of this test we could do, you know, even lower temperatures, but maybe dry roads, um, an even windier day, something like that. Th those would all be interesting. Even, even with all those factors, still starting with the same amount, we still finished about 30% behind where we were when the temperatures were warmer and we did that 70 mile per hour test. We weren't nearly as far behind as the 80 mile an hour test though, obviously. Uh, the speed does make a big difference. And uh, so yeah, charging went better than anticipated. Our range wasn't as good as I was hoping considering the energy we started with. Um, the climate in here was plenty warm. This is just a light jacket and I was plenty warm. I had it set on 72, heated wheel. Uh, passenger driver seats were on two bars on the heat. Uh, and heated wheel was on. I would actually would have been fine with one bar on the heated seat and probably turning the temperature down some. Uh, I would have been plenty warm. I'm just trying to think as somebody that, you know, maybe isn't thinking about conserving energy as much and, you know, wants to be plenty warm and, you know, maybe got kids in the car and you want to make sure they're warm. So yeah, pretty interesting results. You know, hopefully you found this helpful. You know, obviously if you're, you're road tripping in the winter, you're going to give yourself a little more buffer you're probably willing to charge for a little bit longer to give yourself more buffer. And so, you know, the 15 minutes, you probably are fine bumping that up to 20 minutes. 
I just wanted something to compare, you know, all three tests against. So yeah, I think that's about it for today's video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you next video. Bye.